morning and welcome to Byfield Fishery. Um, this is a day ticket fishery just outside Chelmsford, or between Chelmsford and Harlow I suppose is best to describe it. Um, if I'm completely honest, I've lived in Chelmsford for nearly 30 years and I know nothing about the place at all. Um, I've done some research online, or tried to do some research online, and it's very difficult to find any information about it. So. Um, it's quite a good one to cover on my day ticket pieces because uh, most of you won't have heard of it. What little I have found, I found a teeny snippet on a, an old forum. This is back from 2017 or 18, I think. And it says on there that there's a lot of crayfish in here and I am getting quite a lot of um, line of already, so I would think that's probably where that's from, just, just teeny little ones. Um, I found pictures of fish up to 31 pounds, although it does look like it was quite a quite spawn-bound fish. But what I can find is that uh, it says that there's fish up to 27 pound again. That was back in 2017-18, so you'd like to think that they're a bit bigger than that now. Um, yeah, uh, first impressions of the place are pretty good to be honest. Can't see anything in the way of toilets or anything. Um, I have had a bit of, I had a walk around when I got here, in fact I was walking around for about half an hour, I got here at first light today hoping to see some fish jump, so to give me an idea of where to start, because like I say I couldn't find any information, so couldn't really get, get a head start as it were. Right, so for a spot that's roughly in the middle of the lake, um, with the idea of being able to keep an eye out really, but also because the one fish that I have seen show, or had seen show when I first arrived, was a couple of rod lengths in front of where I am at the moment. Now since setting up I have seen another fish show literally two rod lengths in front of where I'm fishing at the moment. I'm fishing about a third of the way across with two rods and the left hand rod's fishing probably about two rod lengths off the bank but a little bit further down to the left. Um, I'm going to check both of the further out rods in a minute or check at least one of them, check the hook baits to see if the craze have done much damage. I've been fishing now for about two and a half hours um, just to see how active they are and if it's going to be a problem. I've got the rules up on the screen for you now. Um, it doesn't seem to be much in the way of rules, which I like. Um, barbless hooks is, is being the main one. And, and with regards to the fishing on here itself, like I say at the moment, I have no idea. Today could be great, could be um, a waste of time. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe so great. So I don't know, we'll find out. Um, out of the limited photos I've managed to find, I have found um, one guy that had three 20 pounders that looked like he caught three 20 pounders in a day, all 21 something. And it looks like there's some nice fish, a lot of commons by the look of it, not so many mirrors. But like I say, I'll keep you posted as the day goes on. And uh, I'll keep you posted as the day goes on. And hopefully I'll catch something to show the cameras and then I can give a better opinion of what this fishery is all about. Like I say, from first impressions, the lake itself looks lovely. Um, it's like a long wedge-shaped lake with an island at the wider end. The water's quite low at the moment, as it is everywhere this year. We've had an awful year for rainfall, so uh, I expect it, the water to be down a little bit. It is everywhere. I would think it's probably about a foot and a half down at the moment. When I first arrived today, I had a flick around with a marker rod because I didn't know anything about the place at all, just to get an idea for it. It seems like it's pretty much clay all over. I found a couple of gravelly patches. As you come in closer and get two, three rod lengths from the bank, you start to feel the gravel as it's coming up to the bank. So that's where my left hand rod is. And the other two rods are just fishing on the clay. It seems to be four foot, maybe just under four foot, everywhere I've tried with the marker. Whether the, the wider end of the lake's deep or not, I don't know. I might have a little look down there in a while with a marker just to see if I can find anything a bit different. So yeah, I'm fishing in about fishing in about four feet of water on all three rods at the moment. I would think when this lake is full, it probably averages about five and a half feet right across it. That would be my guess. But yeah, certainly seems like a nice place. Um, I don't know whether it's the sort of place where you should be coming here expecting a few bites in a day, one bite in a day. Literally no idea, which is quite nice, really. I've no idea what I'm doing, and uh, I'm just winging it. I'm using a bait wise. I'm using a mix of um, hemp, maize, some breadcrumb and activate. In hindsight, with uh, the 
prey situation, I might have been better off steering clear of the fish mills, but again, won't know till I've tried, so I'll see. Activate doesn't let me down anywhere else, so hopefully it will do me proud here today as well. And uh, yeah, I'm fishing two blank saber pop-ups and one rod on a little snowman with a blank saber wafter and an IB wafter. So uh, we'll, we'll see if they're getting damaged or if they're surviving the, the attack of the craze and uh, see if I have to make any changes as the day goes on. I'm going to bait a couple of little spots close in, but the water's quite coloured here, I'm guessing because it's a clay bottom. Um, the water's got that sort of tinge to it, so um, I'm not going to be able to have a great view of any fish if they come in, but hopefully if I bait up a couple of spots in the margins, then I might get an idea of uh, if any fish are feeding on them. But yeah, I'll have a go. I'm going to try try a few various spots if this doesn't work in the first, uh, first few hours and uh, see if I can nick one and get an idea of what this place is all about. So I will be back with you as soon as I have anything to report to. Well, made a few tweaks and changes because uh, seeing that one jump closer in early on in the day and as it happened I've just seen one jump right out to my left out um, towards the island it looked like a good fish as well to be honest so I put one over there and I also brought in my right hand rod and moved it to uh, just off of the bush to my right it's gone off within I don't know, 20 minutes. Put quite a bit of bait around it and things, and it is only a little one, but it's a start. The one that showed out by the island though looked like a good fish to me. Um, certainly mid 20 or so, so decent size for a dated fishery. This is a little common, probably only six pounds, something like that, but it's a start, and I feel like I'm starting to figure a few bits and pieces out. I was considering moving up to my left so that I could fish to the island. Um, where I'd seen that fish show, but I think I'm going to give it another hour or so here now and see if I can nick another one out of this bush to my right, if that's where they want to be. And I might move the other rod closer in as well. Uh, I've checked my baits. All three of them are getting whittled down by the crayfish. So literally only having the rods in the water for three and a half hours and the baits have been whittled right down. So I'm either going to have to keep checking them or change those baits to um, artificial baits, which I hate, or maybe uh, Brazil nut or something, but we'll see. But anyway, here's this little one first one of the day hopefully even the last one of the day but at least it's a start and I'm quite pleased to have caught one obviously not been here before and know nothing about it so it's, it's decent just to get off the mark and like I say hopefully slowly figuring it out got a good few hours left yet so I might manage to nick another one or two we'll see but reasonable start looks like he might have been caught a few times in his lives like I say he's barbless hooks here and I'm not a huge fan, I think they do more damage than good. You look at the mouths of the fishing fisheries with barbless hooks and they seem to be worse than the ones in the fisheries with barb, but 
I know that's a debate for another day, everyone's got their opinion on that, but yeah, there we go. So, a start. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Cheers, buddy. I don't know how well you can hear me because the wind is kicking off. It's like 35 mile an hour winds and stuff. Um, as you can see, I'm in a different swim. I kept seeing fish jumping off the end of that island. So I uh, moved up here before I came up here, sorry, I should say. I walked up here and just spawned out half a dozen spawns of bait off the end of that island. And then went back, packed all my stuff up, came up here, put the rods out. Now, because there's no one else here today, my right hand rod, I've kept fishing it along the bank to the bush where I caught the fish earlier on. So I've got one where I caught the one earlier on and now I've got two out off the end of that island. And literally within 10 minutes of being here, I've just put the kettle on and the left hand rod on the end of the island was away. And it did feel like a better fish. Um, you'll be able to see in the video, I've got it all the way to about two rod lengths out and then uh, the hook pulled out. But I guess that's the beauty of barbless hooks. Um, not going to moan about it, is what it is, that's the rules. So yeah, but that is promising, it's now quarter to two. So I have still got a few hours. Hopefully that wasn't just a lone ranger out there and there were a few out off the end of that island. Like I say, I've seen four or five in the end, all around the same area off the end of the island. So I thought it was worth a move for the afternoon. It's supposed to rain for the next couple of hours and it has just started doing that now. So whether that will help or whether that will uh, kill it. Kill it. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll have a chance of another one, and uh, I'll be able to film it because it won't be chucking it down my brain. So I'll uh, be back. <laughs> gonna lie it's not the size I was hoping for but a bite nonetheless I've got about an hour to go <laughs> let's hope that we can get one a little bit bigger than that still <sighs> one hour to go well as you can see the light is starting to fade I don't even know if you can see me that well there um, so to summarise Firefield Fishery, well, the place itself is very nice, the lake's very nice, um, the crayfish are a nightmare, so if you're going to come here, be prepared for that, definitely bring either plastic hook baits, nut hook baits if you're allowed them, or wrap some hook baits before you come here, because they are definitely a problem, I've been recasting every hour and a half, two hours, um, and finding the baits whittled down already. In the last hour or so, I decided to bring all three rods short, literally underarm flicked them and put a couple of scoops of bait over each one. And that has definitely had an impact. Um, I've caught one, uh, that small one that you've just seen, and I've also lost another one in the last hour, 45 minutes. So that definitely does seem to be um, a method that works on here, fishing close in. What I would say is the one I caught obviously was very small, the one I lost didn't feel a great deal bigger. So it might well be that, I don't know if there's perch or pike or anything in here, it might well be that the fish have spawned well and there's um, quite a few smaller ones as well. 
I have seen a couple of good fish today. I've seen at least two good ones jump out and a couple that were good doubles as well. So I don't doubt that there are decent fish in here and I would certainly come back because like I say the place itself is very nice. I will certainly come back and have another go at some point. Um, it's £12 for three rods, £10 for two rods and you can night fish it as well um, if you arrange it in advance by calling the number. If you, if you go onto the website and go onto Google or whatever and type in Fifield Fishery you'll find it will come up with a phone number there that you can call to arrange that should you wish to night fish it. So yeah, nice place. I will definitely come back and try and get one of the better ones at some stage and come better prepared for the craze, which, like I said, I knew there were craze in here, but I didn't realise they were going to be quite to the extent they are. I mean, there is, I've, I've got through seven kilo of particle mix and boily today, um, just trying to keep on top of them. You know, you know when they've cleared you out because you stop getting the liners and then you wind in, check your hook baits, they've been whittled down, put a new hook bait on, back out, a bit more bait out there and obviously the liners start like that, the liners start again straight away so um, but no like I say I would say that the potential here is is pretty big yeah I would say the potential here is pretty good you can imagine the big fish getting pretty big because of the crayfish but the small fish are never going to be able to eat the crayfish um, so whether they're going to grow particularly well or not, who knows? I don't know enough about the place to know what the average size should be, but I would imagine it's quite a bit bigger than the two that I've managed to land today. The one that I lost, the first one that I lost, I should say, um, did feel like quite a good fish. And uh, so like I say, I don't doubt that the bigger fish are in here, but getting through the craze and the small fish to get to them, I'm not too sure the answer to that at the moment without coming back a couple more times myself can't really give it a fair assessment on just one visit but what I would say is it's a nice place to be and I will definitely be coming back to give it another go so thumbs up from me and I'll see you on the bank here again at some point Nearly time to go, so one of the rods has torn off again close in. Like I said, I think if I'd have worked this out earlier to fish close in like this, I could have caught an absolute hat. But these definitely aren't the size of the ones that I've been seeing jump out there. Um, yeah, awesome fish and immaculate mouths and all that sort of thing. So I would think that they're very young, but yeah. There you go, puts me on three with about half an hour to go and start packing this stuff away now. And uh, I will be back at some point. I walk the lonely 